Hello, and this is my mini review of the CK88 by Yamaha. I will only really review stuff if I'm really excited about it. And I feel like this, this keyboard was sort of designed for me, even though it's a stage keyboard. So I'm just going to play a bit while I talk. I think that's the best way to do this. I'm an, I'm an ambient keyboardist, I would describe myself as. I don't have um, in t insane chops. I don't move chords that quickly. I just have a vibe that I like to play with. And uh, you hear it in my music. Um, but this keyboard is lets us wash the sounds in reverb and delay, which I couldn't really do with the SV2. This is analog delay. And that's a master effect area. And so there's three layers on this keyboard. I'm going to bring in some piano. And also, yeah, I'll talk about organ in a second. So piano, there's the U1 sort of upright piano. And there's a mixer that I can mix the two. So now the piano will take over. Let's go into one of the other pianos, the CFX piano. Take down some of the delay. And I've already EQ'd a lot of this off. I'm going to take the EQ back up. I don't like bright sounds in general. This keyboard, I think, is better when you dial back. I do with this so I'll show you maybe some of the other delay types cross delay bring the roads back up with it It's a great feeling keyboard. Um, the SV2 was really uh, heavy as a machine in a unit, and the keyboard was heavy. This is light, and I don't I don't need extra heaviness on the keyboard for me. the The body of this keyboard, though, is very cheap feeling, but that's also because they were able to get the weight much lower, ten pounds lower than the Korg SV2. I bought it from Long McQuaid and always very happy with my service and the people that work there. They, they, I, you know, I only played this keyboard once. I found out about it very recently. And then I um, went in there one day and I played it. And then the next time I went in there and I said, I'm here, I'm here to make a purchase. And they, you know, you know, if people will talk to me a bit to make sure I, I have the right op, um, product, along with Quaid's no exception. So let's bring in the organ. There's those strings in organ so far of what I've, I've found. Well, here's strings. You can dial them off with the filter. Every channel has its own filter and a few effects. So let's run the strings through a rotary. And our master is still washed out in a lot of reverb and delay. And you could just find this is why I love this keyboard. I've found a soundscape and I, I can let it sit and I can record this and I could maybe 
overdub guitar over this or I can play with the rotary of these strings. I can mix these because I have my foot pedal down. And it's like this to me is what great equipment and great des well designed gear is is like one object that can just get me right into a soundscape. I was really uh, not being well served by the Korg SV2 because it couldn't wash like I couldn't get like these layers I don't know I, I just didn't have the patience to learn it because it wasn't meant for this even though they're both called stage keyboards which means that they're designed to be like for gigging musicians but this one I, I don't know if they should have even used the word stage keyboard because like to me this is the perfect studio keyboard for me that I can make a soundscape and, re and record it like That was strings, we haven't even looked at the organ. So let's switch it into the organ now. I'll transpose a bit just to give you a different mood. So organ. Draw bars. Rotary. Lots of reverb and delay. Cross delay when you change the time, something weird happens. Like a shifting. And we can filter off the organ. So you can see I'm I'm quite happy. Um, no, no arpeggio, arpeggiator. Uh, but I kind of I don't mind that because um, arpeggiators I get really into them in a way that's not I guess healthy. And so like I don't know, just and if I want to I can put a, um, a keyboard on the on the thing here. I have a Novation launch key mini and I think I could get the arpeggiator into the MIDI in here and then I'd have a dedicated machine for the arpeggiator um, so any small keyboard that has a arpeggiator can go on here it has an AD input for um, left uh, quarter inch input for audio um, sustain pedal and uh, mod wheel. I have a mod pedal in one of them and I could assign that to any MIDI controller I want and can set a min and a max. There are mo mono modes for um, some instruments that I'll show you how the, that those can be kind of cool. Uh, unison, sorry mono is like portamento and then there's unison. I don't exactly know what that is. There's splits. Um, you can save a bunch of live sets so a bunch of presets that have like a three layers but I find it fun to just um, it's so intuitive to go through layer A, B and C and pick new instruments that I don't think you, you need to go crazy with presets um, and there's synth sounds in there, pad, lead 
chromatic percussion and a few others that aren't aren't that great but you can run them through all kinds of distortions and different effects because you have two for every channel you have the um, effect one which is like overdrive and rotary and then effect two which is chorus flanger wah delay reverb so a separate reverb and delay if you pick that to be your thing and then another one called effect two inside of a layer all that before it goes to master delay and master reverb so you could wash tons of effects in here if you really wanted to but too many effects and i don't know i think it's it's weird but you'll see with these synths okay let's take that off and we'll go to i'll go with a pad bell pad trying to cut, do some cut off to it so that's pad and pad and organ here's a few pads I mean pad sounds you don't need that many. They're all kind of the same. And as long as you can wash them out in enough reverb and delay. And I'm now experimenting clearly with rotary. On a pad. Just playing with the delay time. Um, but I wanted to get over to, and then there's leads. Um. So I can put on Portamento. And then I'm going to put this layer on to be some of these, like, marimba. This pad's way louder than the marimba. And I could put a pian I could do piano. And I put the piano onto mono. on analog delay put some distortion on the piano so maybe like a pentatonic type um There's Bluetooth input. So I can run drum jam from my iPhone in here to get some per percussion. And I still have another layer to go, so why not put my Rhodes back in here? Uh, let's go to electric piano. Way too much delay in here. Here's our roads. Thank you. 
here's the this, this marimba has this mono thing going on I can run it through a wawa I could sit here all day and play this one, and that's I didn't feel that way about the Korg SV2. Um, you can just experiment with all these different tones and things that were in keyboards that you don't really care about. You can put them to use. You know, there's guitar and bass sounds, like for so just like you can layer monophonic with the chord, like with. In that, that case, I do wish I was hearing the option to flip on an arpeggiator. Um, I could be wrong. There could be one in there. I highly doubt it, though. Not a deal killer uh, for now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. CK88 and the 61, 61 key would be way lighter. Would be also great on the, the top of a, a keyboard. But I'm very happy I've gone from 73 keys now to 88 and um, it's it is quite useful to have that the top octave though not played a lot so I mean I would have been okay if it was a bit less keys but it's great to have 88 it's a good feeling and yeah I don't mind that it's um, cheap plastic as the casing and yeah the overall holds very sturdy on the stand which is something that you won't get from a smaller keyboard they kind of sometimes move around a bit more you want to have enough weight that it's it stays down. And this will also work really great as a MIDI controller as well. Okay, so um, I'm Elliot Feinberg, and you can find my music on Spotify and Apple Music under this name if you like some of these soundscapes you're hearing in the review. Okay, thank you.